listen, I know I'm biased when I say that you should be using a mortgage advisor, but he's a real life example of that. I recently submitted an application for a client who gets paid four weekly, not monthly, four weekly. So you get one extra payday a year because you get 13 paydays. As well as that, the client has a bit of a complicated pay structure in that they have a set amount of hours that are guaranteed and then anything that they work over that, rather than it being overtime, it's still classed as like basic hours. Anyways though, I always do all the checks up front and all the calculations up front before submitting an application to make sure whether the income adds up. Well, I've had the lender come back to me and say, we cannot be lending this amount. The maximum amount is now five grand less. So of course I rang them up and I said, that's not right. And I proceeded to tell them, listen, the client gets paid four weekly, not monthly. And this is how the income structure works. So I explained it all. They went back, recalculated, and guess who was right? Oh yeah, me. However, if you were to submit an application yourself and the lender came back and said, no, nope, we cannot lend you this amount, you would just probably take it as they say it. You maybe wouldn't even question it. So I guess the point here is don't get discouraged if you get a no from a lender because chances are there's something in the background that needs to be explained further. But if you want to avoid these situations, just get a good mortgage advisor who can argue the case for you. As always, if you found that useful, make sure you like and follow for more.